and we're talking about the periodic table. So the periodic table has 118 elements. 90 of them are are, are me, no, 90 of them are naturally found and then 28 of them are man-made. And then 28 of them are in the body and then 90 28 of them are in the body and four of them are the most important and they are hydrogen, oxygen, carbon and nitrogen. So here's hydrogen Here's oxygen, here's nitrogen, and here's carbon. So, the history of, so let's talk about the history of the periodic table. So the periodic table was discovered by Dmitry Mendeleev. Well, not only discovered by him, but other people discovered the elements. Dmitry Mendeleev took those elements and put them into groups and eventually made the periodic table, which I can call a con uh, when, which I can call a complicated table. So we have so well, let's talk about the categories now so over here we have the noble gases and then these over here are are part of the these over here this is the these are the nonmetals then over here you have the actinoids not a uh, metalloids then the, the metalloids are means there metalloids means there are they are they can be a metal or gas then four metals are here aluminum gallium indium and then i i shouldn't say the names right now we're going to talk about the names next week so these over here are the these over here are the are the these over here are the poor metals. We're not going to include these because these, some of these are unknown, except these two, which is which are flavorium and livermorium, just discovered in 2012 or last year in uh, June, uh, and there. So there were flavorium and livermorium. So flavorium symbol is Fl. It's element 114. Livermorium symbol is Lv. And it's and it's uh, and its number is 116. So, and then here are the transition metals. So transition metals are the group ha that has the most elements. So they they have 40 elements, and it's and it looks big. So it's this all the way here. So and then you have the alkali metals: hydrogen, lithium. So I yeah. So these are the alkali metals, and now. Hydrogen is sh should be a non-metal, but but it's the reason it's an alkali metal because because it has only one electron, and alkali metals have positive one charge. Then you have the alkaline earth metals, which uh, which have positive two charges, and then you have the lanthanoids and actinoids. So here are the lanthanoids. Interesting. An interesting thing about the lanthanoids is that. Lanthanoids, the lanthanoids, um, every element is not radioactive except this element over here called promethium. Its symbol is PM and it's element 61. Then, for some reason, the actinoids are the exact opposite. All of the actinoids are radioactive. Good job. By the way, by the way, carium here, carium is 96. <coughs> the, the symbol is CM and... What you, and the name is Curium, what I just said. And, and, and it was made by Mad and, and it means Madame Curie. And by the way, Madame Curie was the first female to get two Nobel Prizes. Good job. And then, then, then some of these, and then some of the other radioactive elements were named after things, other scientists and universities, like Berkelium named, it was discovered in Berkeley, or Einsteinium uh, discovered by Einstein, so. So, so thank you everybody, and, and we'll see you next week, and we'll see you next week, and next week we'll do the rest of the elements, and so, bye, and, and so thank you, and bye-bye, have a good day. Thank you.